Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and today I am going to be making a laminated packing list. So if you hear like a little buzzing noise off to the side, it's because my laminator is sitting like right there and it's heating up. But I travel pretty often and I have, a, I traveled a ton in 2019. I have a lot of trips already planned for 2020. And every single time I travel, I find myself making a packing list. And I kind of got to the point where it was like, so many of these things I'm writing, I'm writing every single time. So I decided today I was going to make a laminated packing list where the things that I pack over and over and over again are already going to be written over here on this side or maybe here. I haven't decided which side yet. We'll have to see as we get going. And then I'll leave the other section open to write in with a dry erase pen or a wet, wet erase pen. Um, where I will write in things that are specific to each trip. And then when the trip's over, I can wipe it off. It's going to be awesome. So I wanted to show you guys, I got this page from the new Girls Just Want to Have Fun's companion pack. So this is going to be available at Joann's. It's also on the Happy Planner website, but it comes with several different pages focused on budgeting. This is from the budget one. Um, but this page was in the back and I really loved it. So I'm going to transform it into a packing list just because I think it's really cute. But So I just wanted to show you guys where I got that. Now I'm going to be using the travel sticker book to create this page. Um, this sticker book came out a while ago. I know you used to could get it at Michael's and Joann's. I assume you still can, but I'm not positive on that. So I'm going to start by taking this sticker that says explore more and I am going to place it because I don't want this to say notes and things. I want it to be a, tr a packing list. So I'm gonna place this sticker here to kind of cover up where it says notes. And then I'm gonna take this sticker that says let's go. And I'm gonna use it to cover up and, and then I'm gonna go over here to these packing list stickers. And I'm going to place this sticker here. And then we still have a little bit of word left. So. Well, maybe we could put one of these. Mm, I think I'm actually gonna peel this off. And instead of using those stickers, maybe we just cover that part with washi tape. Mm, you'll be able to see through that washi tape. Okay. We're going to change this just a little bit. We're going to peel these stickers back up. I could edit this part out of the video, but I like to show you guys that I make mistakes when I'm plating too. And I like to show you guys my thought process. So... I will be leaving this in the video. I'm going to take this sticker because what I could do with this sticker and then we take this and cover it up that says packing list. And then what I could do is each time I travel, I could write with my wet erase marker here where I'm going. That would actually be really smart. So this sticker, I'll put it on the back because I may actually end up using the back for something else as well. Okay. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a few cutesy stickers in the corner. Okay. 
just by putting this here and this here. I am going to trim this beach ball so that it doesn't go on top of that passport like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this side over here and I'm going to write, go ahead and use a pen and I'm going to write in the things that I'm going to pack no matter what the trip is. And then here is where I can write in the things that are a little more specific to each trip. So I will fast forward through me writing here so that you don't have to watch like the whole thing. Um, and then we'll come back and talk some more. I ended up adding in a place to plan out outfits. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'll write how many of those I need for each trip. So like zero shorts, two dresses, three swimsuits. And that's what I'll put in the blank is how many I need. But then this side is things that I will always need. And then right here, I'll write where we're going. And then since I already have the back, I thought that it would be nice to put in some flight stickers because most of the time I am flying wherever I'm going. So if I put a flight sticker up here, then I could fill in that information for each trip. And then I don't even necessarily need to put these flight stickers in my planner all the time, even though I probably will because I like them. But it's nice to kind of have them all together. And then over here, I could put more like write out more information about the trip like itineraries or things I need to know or like it, what we're doing each day oh my gosh I really want to put this there we go to fill up that space Oop, that page is coming off I'm trying to see if there's any other like here these itinerary stickers could be good that I could fill in about the trip. And then maybe just put this cute little sticker. Maybe over here and then I could put any other information there. Now, the next thing that I need to do is laminate it but before I laminate it I am actually going to cut off the edge now the reason I'm cutting off the edge is because once I laminate it I am going to need to re-punch it and so I don't want these pre-punched parts on here because that will look weird to have those pre-punched but also still need to punch them again so I these are the laminating sheets I use I got these at Office Depot they're five milliliter which is pretty good thickness for things that you just want in your planner um, so I'm gonna pull one of these out and these go I got my laminator at Office Depot as well the one that I the laminator I really wanted was the scotch laminator which I know you can get on Amazon and Target um, but I got this one at Office Depot because my Target was all out and I needed it fairly quickly for a project I was working on when I bought it. Okay. So I have my laminator over here heating up and I'm just going to take this page and I'm gonna run it through you just slide it in and it'll come out I usually run it through twice just to be sure that it's nice and sealed um, but it takes it takes just a few minutes I'm really excited about this because like I'll be able to reuse it over and over and over again and you're gonna see on my channel I actually have a lot of ideas for different videos of different things that you can laminate like this and use over and over again instead of making them over and over again. So you're going to almost see like a whole laminating series on my channel over the next couple of weeks and months 
I think I'll probably make a playlist if y'all want me to put them all in one place so that it's easy. But like all the different things that you should laminate for your planner. So this is technically the second thing I've done. The first thing I did, I think it was a meal planning sheet that I did. Maybe. It actually looks pretty laminated. It did pretty good that first time. I'm going to run it through again and then we will come back and cut it and punch it. Okay, so if you are new to laminating, you then want to trim off the extra, but you don't want to trim it right next to the paper because then the lamination will just peel off. So you want to leave a little bit of a distance. You can kind of see I left not a lot, but a little bit. I don't know why that didn't cut straight because I thought I put it in here straight, but who knows? And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the top, okay? And then I actually have a corner rounder that I love using. Okay, I didn't realize that my camera wasn't filming. It like cut off and I didn't realize it, but I rounded the corners with my corner rounder and then I used my Happy Planner Punch to punch it. If you're using five mil lamination, your Happy Planner Punch will typically punch through that. I didn't think about the fact that the punch was going to cut out some of my words. So some of them, it messed up, but I can still tell what it was supposed to say. So now this is laminated, okay? And now I can use this wet erase marker. I'll try to remember to link these in the description, but like our next trip, we're going to Disneyland next week. So I can use this pen, this wet erase pen, and write Disneyland. December 26th through 30th. And then I can check off or write in the numbers of what I need, plan out my outfits, and put any other details on the back. I'm so excited about this, y'all. Y'all have no idea. I'm going to be using this all the time. So I hope this gives you an idea of how to make one for yourself. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And happy planning!